What's going on, YouTube? Uh, today, the little the intro is going to be a little different. Uh, normally, I record my intro, and then I play some games, and I'll do like a recap at the end. However, I'm doing this intro after playing with this list, and I just want to say it's fucking cracked. <laughs> we had a goal in mind when we built the deck, and it was answer the Strawbeard Menace, and this deck does it soundly. Um... Unfortunately, I have games I didn't record. I will show you guys at the end an IRL game on Cam that I played against a Strawbeard player. I ended up playing him for three games and I went 3-0. Um, I decimated him. No disrespect to my opponent, but I Otama pistoled his beard like if I was playing set one meta and killing kid. Uh, I mean, you kind of have to, because once that card hits the board, it's more detrimental to you than any other card that they play. And then the only other thing that we do in that matchup is we play around Luffy. I did fuck up in one of my off-line uh, games where I took the last life stupidly. I didn't count my counters correctly. Um, and then he unblockable Luffy'd me. However, I will say that there are high level techs that you can do against opponents. So like if you take your last life, you can incentivize them to just say, oh fuck it, I'm going all in. Especially if they know they're dead the next turn. Uh, and bait them into alpha, alpha striking you basically, that's a magic term, but like just swinging all in. And countering out from hand perfectly. Uh, without any more uh, like obviously lethal attacks that can kill you. So you can do things like that. It is how I beat Beard on top of just the massive amounts of like tempo that I do to them. So what I noticed as I was playing, um, I haven't played Law like that in a while. But again, I, this meta has been solved already. There are no secrets. Straw is a god and you have to adapt. This is Japanese tech. This is nothing new. However, learning how to play the matchup correctly is stuff that you will have to grind out. So what I've noticed is, rather than trying to stuff 3-4 pistols and trying to KO all the characters every time they come in, because they're only playing one character a turn, you can just go Otama, weaken the character, attack a couple times with your beaters, your leader, drain cart resources from hand, like if you were playing basically like... Uh, stage beard and you were trying to trade into a marco basically you'd be doing the same exact thing because you want to drain their hand later that's what makes this card late game the best card in your deck this with any one of these cards even blocker law um will win you the game because once you've exhausted their hand because another <laughs> thing i have to say about the straw beard players with na is that they're kind of dumb they're not kind of dumb they are dumb they're overvaluing the 9-drop so hard. So fucking hard. And I'm telling you, it's not worth it every time if it means you're going to lose the game. Because 9-drop isn't the best card in this set. It's not. It's good, but it's not the best card. And the reason you're losing games as a Strawbeard player is because you put so much stock in the 9-drop that by the time you get to an end game, especially if you, you can even pressure me to zero life, by the time you get there... And you have no hand to protect yourself. I don't care that I can't kill you the turn you play him. I will kill you the following turn. Uh, with a lot of decks. Because there are a lot of ways to just kill you anyway. Even with, at 8k. Uh, Zoro can do it with Dadan Magras. Um, I can do it with multiple restands. Kid players can do it with their leader. Kinemon can do it with Odin. So like if you're... Thinking you're gonna brain dead your way to like an online regional, etc. You're wrong. Learn to play your deck better. It is the easiest deck in the format to play. That is a top deck. However, do not fall into traps. And I say that because I've seen it so many times, and I've won so many games because of it against Strawbeard. <laughs> um, that is my two cents. I've been playing that deck forever, and every time I see it, I'm just like, well, you lost. Um, but as I was saying, this deck is hyper-tuned to beat Strawbeard. It'll still have a decent stage beard match. Um, that doesn't really change too much. The problem is not this, 
I mean, the stage is the problem. But it's the fact that they also have a lot of ways to remove things and just one for one you while playing to the board every turn. Between Scarred C Squared Seaquake and Squared Vista, uh, just controlling the early board, getting rid, of, getting rid of your tools, getting rid of your big blockers that you would normally want to restand after using for damage. Um, so it is a harder matchup, but certainly winnable. Um, what else can I say about our list? This Rush Zoro could be this starter deck Zoro. Uh, I'm only doing this because I don't want to make ourselves too slow and then make our matchups where we should normally just be a far ahead, like black, black, purple, purple, blue. Like, I don't want to make those matchups closer to even than they should be. Uh, Cause I, I personally, we have so much value that I, they're one for one game. It's not even one for one. It's two for one game against black decks is so in your favor that like it doesn't matter <laughs> and you're able to put a lot of beats on them uh with just your small characters because of brook and machina and a restand just a random restand one time plus like constant leader swings will pressure them to just losing the game um that is the easiest matchup in my opinion uh and obviously pacing your your cards like don't throw out, obviously this is all old law stuff from set one, like don't throw out cards that could potentially die right away, like your Bonnie. Um, your Vista is the second priority in your deck. Um, you do not want to throw away both of these cards early for no reason, uh, especially if you can control it with law, both of your law abilities. Do not just throw them away. You need them to stay in your games. Unless you're at the very end of the game and you're about to win anyway, uh, then it doesn't really matter. However, early on, do not throw these away for free. Um, your Nami and Dadan are actually your easiest things to throw away. If your opponent wastes, especially in a red matchup, they only have one of these. Like, <laughs> it's not like they get to rebuy this effect. So unless they draw multiple, it's one and done. And if they waste it on these two cards, it's okay. You'd rather want to keep these alive, your blockers to stay alive in red matchups, and then these to help you clear their board and obviously generate your most important cards. Your Restand Law, your Zoros, your Blocker Law, like the most important cards come from her. So that's why we prioritize her. We do not waste her unless we have to. Um, what else is there? Uh, like I said, you have a lot of easy pressure in the game, which is why I love this deck so much, is because you're able to not only generate all this pressure, but rebuy it later, use them as defensive tools between Makino and Brook, and it's just so Dawn efficient. Being able to attach two, make your leader swing for seven, attach two to like a Zoro attack for seven, um, Makino to make your Nami's threats. I've won games with Chopper, by the way, with Makino. <laughs> Uh, but being able to do that is monumental. It's free, and then you bounce it back. Um, so it's really good. These two Zoros, like I said in my last Law video, this Zoro is here for the Strawbeard matchup, but this one is just... It shores up the matchup so much more, because the one Don attached after an attack makes them a 6k, and your opponent doesn't get, like... A chance to pull 2k out of you like it's a lot harder to trade with these cards in the red matchups uh and a lot of strawbeard players will ignore your board which is another thing that i think strawbeard's doing wrong um in the games that i played yesterday where i 3-0'd my strawbeard opponent he ignored my board the whole game left me with bonnies left me with zeros that can attack you and he lost granted I Otama pistoled his beard two out of the three games because, like I said, I hold on to that for that card. The only other time I'll waste a pistol is if it's Luffy. Um, or if I know I'm going to draw the second one. Um, I know, because I count my cards as I go, how f close I am to re re-hitting my cards again. Like, it's very, very, very easy to go through your deck at least one time. Um between Dadan, Nami, and Bonnie, it's so fucking easy. You will see your cards again. And I've won games that way because it's like, okay, 
I know in my first bottom of five, I bottomed the pistol. So by the time that I've counted how many times I've done that, and I know that my at, at least in the next top five, I'm going to find that pistol, I'll be able to find it reliably. I've shown that, I believe I show it in one of my games, um, but I, I do it quite often. <laughs> uh, it is something that you need to know as you're playing Law. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Law is not an easy deck and you need to know the ins and outs to the T to play it correctly to a top finish, especially in this meta because it is, it is not easy. Um, even though I spank Beard right now, like you still have to pilot and navigate your match as well. And Zoro exists. <laughs> Zoro by far is a much more annoying matchup than Strawbeard. Um, Strawbeard is killing himself, so I th it allows us to finish a game. Whereas Zoro, unless you put them in a lethal range or very close to it, by the time their 9-drop comes down, it even if you answer one, it can still be really hard to come back. Um, because they're also pressuring you all the turns before that. With 1-drops, Rush, Zoro... Uh, they threaten you with Robin. They have Vista. So Zoro is a different beast than Strawbeard. Um, especially Strawbeards that are slowing down to beat the mirror. With things like Marco, King Dew, Atmos, and stuff like that. Um, it is a much slower deck. Uh, but again, I think this deck is cracked right now. It is the best deck no one is playing. Law is super good, and you still keep all your great matchups. And for those wondering how it does against Kinemon, you beat Kinemon pretty handedly. Uh, you still beat green with these decks. It is a, more annoying than it was before because of turn one Okiku, but you do have clean answers with Otama Vista. And again, we're not a red deck where that be two cards out of the hand that we never see again because we are Law. So we can buy back that value later in a way that red can never do thank god <laughs> so that is why this matchup is pretty free but again you need to pilot well prioritize your targets um trade board efficiently and just win the game like try not to overfeed resources early make sure that you're answering the threats that need to be answered uh, that's all the knowledge I can give you as a law god. <laughs> no, all seriousness, the, I mean, I've worked on this deck with a friend of mine who's planning on taking it out. Um, this is what I would be playing in regionals. Uh, I would actually, I'm that confident in the deck that I would play this in a regionals. And I guarantee I could top with it. <laughs> that is how good and confident I am in this build. But... Without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, there's a lot of cool things in there, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Peace. All right, we got a game into Whitebeard. That's what we were looking for. I uh, wonder if this is stage, though. If it's stage, it's a different game. I don't know how I feel about this hand. <laughs> I kind of want to find something like this, but now no search kind of sucks. Alright, whatever. Net yeah, stage. Okay. Uh, stage doesn't really care. They take the damage. If he does counter out, he's dumb. <laughs> okay, pass. Uh, I'll take that. Then I can go one, two. I don't know what the hell this does for you. Um, I can wait on this. I think. And just attack six. Okay. So doesn't look like he is he might just be again just trying to out other strawbeards by using this brook doesn't really do much though i 
that's fine. One more is okay. Another sea quake? That's fine. Because he's not at two for whatchamacallit. Guard point would, would be two cards. Okay. Just to have a threat off the board. I'll we'll take Nami probably, just because uh, if he slams nine on me the turn after, I'd rather have a card with counter stat. Or just something that with more value. Oh, it's, it's 2k. There's Luffy. I had you before, and pass. <sighs> yeah, it was a very awkward hand to start. Fortunately. Good thing is I have Bonnie for search. Be more obvious. It's fine. Uh, the only thing I can do, like if he has a third one, uh, it is what it is. I just want to see if I can find this. Uh, so we'll go Tama first. And then go... Like I said, if he has another one, that is what it is. I think he was pretty wasteful in the beginning. So if he takes it, he takes it. You got it, brother.
14. If in, even if they were all radical beams and the last card was a 2k, this still kills him. Uh, for Zoro, Red Zoro, and uh, Green Zoro. Okay. Tack to Bonnie. Tack to Zoro. Six leader. Uh, Seven leader. Into five. Uh, six. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
C'est bien Effect destroy. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Seven leader. Three. Yeah. Cards in here. Five. Five cards. No active. No. Uh, six. Five leader. Seven. Fifteen. I accidentally misclicked. I wanted to go first. <laughs> I will try to sound out though. Uh, reason why I wanted to try going first in this matchup is because of um, what's it called? Whitebeard. I law auto loses to Whitebeard, guys. It's not even a contest. You get decimated. Robin. I'll take it this way any day. Oh, let's attack for five.
I was definitely a pistol. Uh, you can pistol my vanilla. I think it's 100% worth doing. Just pistol the vanilla and then attack me. Otherwise, I could potentially just run away with the game from here. Because if I don't have him low, by the time he hits 9, I'm going to die. No matter how good my hand is right now. good spot and a hell of a lot of 2k counter in my hand. His Robin doesn't really mean too much to me. Because I'm going to start putting the screws to him now. If he did pull the pistol, which it looked like he did, I would assume you do it now. Gordon's a good pickup. Uh, so you can go Don Don and still pistol. And my board is looking mighty sad. So he's probably going to do that here. Um, is it worth protecting? Probably not. Uh, pistol's off the board now, though. And he's down to four cards in hand, which is good. Take this one. No bonnies kinda suck. Not kinda, it really sucks. Either he deploys like sunny coons here or he attacks with Vista. No attack. Bonnie, thank you. Jeez. I think I bought him too low though, off the 20 cards I saw. <laughs> um I saw 15 bottomed 12 so there's still 22 cards left Eesh. if he's running red hawk by all means you got it brother but i'm gonna do it anyway uh, so we'll attack here chance it's something random. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Then Bonnie. Perfect. Then I'll go like this. Bounce Bonnie back. Play sorrow. And pass. 
but this is nine drop turn. I wanted to get him to two, but it is what it is. This is an instant block, just because it dies anyway to Whitebeard. Oh. What could I do here? <laughs> Find pistol. Right? And then I can go. Still have enough Dawn to do that play. <laughs> so I can go. Tama. Replace Nami. Otama. Replace Otama. Jetto P. Then bounce back. Otama for Law. You stand Nami pass. <laughs> I mean, Bonnie. Oof. Please don't have another one. I'm winning. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I literally, this is the only reason I lose to Zora. This right here. Okay. Whoo! No, oh, he doesn't have it. Um, because he has Rush Luffy as a potential card, uh, we obviously don't take that bait. And we clear when we can clear. Uh, well, it is what it is for that one. So I'm not seeing any Vista this game, which kind of sucks. <sighs> um, we got mad attacks this game, this turn. Uh, so I might not even go Vista necessarily. Let's just go seven. I have two, four, five, six, seven K counter in him. He has three cards. Ideally, finding Chopper would have been nice, but I think we bought him two when we were looking for that pistol, I think. I think you have to just go for it, dude.
We have an interesting match. <laughs> uh, nobody's been playing Kid, so it's actually really cool to see it. I like our hand, so I'm going to try it. This Zoro is actually the nuts in this match. Um, let's just deploy that on. Let's get our chopper. Some of them run Cat Viper, it's something that's more popular in NA, as far, like across all the green decks. I've never been a fan of that card. But to each their own, right? So he looks like he's going for the value plan. Most likely he's not going to attack me, which is okay. he is. All right. He's not the, the dum-dums that don't attack the whole game against a deck that generates value on its own. I don't need to draw my life. I have value cards out the ass. <laughs> it kind of worked set one, just because like, there was four Cat Viper, four Okiku, and I'm just like, well, I guess this is my life now, but that's no longer the case. Close that on again. We'll get Nami. Play Nami. Grab Zoro, and we'll play Chopper. I don't want to play any more Nami yet. I would like to find an Otama, just to have it. That's fine. Uh, so he found Izo and then extra which does nothing. Um, it's okay. I understand why they run it. It's kind of like how I'm running the starter deck Zoro. I just I think it's mediocre as well. So let's just go for max value here. We'll take this. Again, whiffing kind of hard on important things. <clears throat> uh, we'll attack five. Then we'll play Bagel. Activate. We'll bounce back. Nami Swan for Law, bounce back Bonnie, play our big boy Zoro, and pass. Sure. I kind of just do whatever the hell I want here. <laughs> so we'll start off with a dig. We'll take another law. I'll attack five. back for another Zoro pass. So I've what Dadant, Namid, Bonnied. So I've done at least twenty cards. Or right, I dug twice with Bonnie, right? I think. So Twenty five. So there, I bottomed 
20 cards. There's 12 cards left to go through. plays like a hawk oh, I don't really care if he plays like a Hawkins I'm gonna go pretty hard like turbo milling for my second pistol it's the only card I'm worried about and like I air quotes worried <laughs> like it's okay but it's not gonna change too much just because of starter deck law so I can attack a couple of times and not worry about much uh, so I'm gonna pressure his hand here Play, so we'll, but we'll take that. <laughs> no shot you do that, brother. Uh, fuck, I don't even know what else to do. I mean, I can get aggressive here. I'm at three life. He's going to tap down my laws anyway. Case, like I said, uh, we'll attack. Pass. Chucking four cards to protect your Drake was real bad. <laughs> Especially when you had extra to punish my Zoro. That was just massive misplay. Discards a card, or doesn't deploy a blocker, or hold two Dawn for another Gibson, GG. Oh, well, that's fine by me. I would just use the last Dawn, bro. Okay. Take that every day of the week. And GG. Uh, I'm just going to pressure his board, because that's hella free. sure I should be through the whole deck at this point so I can't remember I think pistols coming up so we'll just do this and like I said do a little bouncy bounce so sorry for law bounce Bonnie back play Zoro Seven on zero. 
put one on lost. I'm at three life. He only has a cat viper and three cards to kill me. <laughs> Yeah, this hasn't really changed. Law still bodies green for free. Sure. Bagel. Yes. 